Hi! In this video, we will show you, how easy to optimize your WordPress website with Swift Performance. For the test, we will use an Elementor-based WooCommerce demo webshop. Let's check the current speed first with GT Metrics. We will run the test from London, and use Google Chrome browser with unthrottled connection. As we can see, performance and LCP scores are not too good. Let's check the performance with page speed insights as well. Yeah, not a surprise. Desktop scores are not bad at all. However, mobile score is still not good enough. As we can see, there are a lot of recommendations what we can improve. So let's see. How can we do it with Swift Performance? First, go to Plugins. Click to add new. Then search for Swift Performance. Click to install now. And now, activate it. After we activate Swift, the setup wizard will start. Now choose Auto Config and click to start. Swift Performance will configure itself automatically. As we can see, this server is using Cloudflare, so we need to set up API token on the next screen. And we just finished the basic setup. Now go to the dashboard and cache the home page. And now, let's run our tests again. As you can see, both LCP and performance scores were improved. Also mobile score and desktop on page speed insights but we are not finished yet. There is still room for improvement. First, we enable advanced view to see all options. Then go optimization scripts and enable async execute and delay async scripts. Critical CSS is enabled. So style settings seems okay. Let's see cache settings. Caching mode is okay. Everything seems good for now. Go back to dashboard. Pre-build is already running. We just need to wait a few seconds. Cache is ready. Let's run GT metrics again. Performance and all web vital scores seems much better now. Let's see what will we get with page speed insights. Okay, both mobile and desktop scores are improved, but it can be still faster. So go back to Swift dashboard and activate all light features. Fill your name, your email address, and generate your free license key. In a few minutes, you will get an email with a free license key. Just paste it here, and click to activate. To get extra features, you need to install Swift Performance Extra plugin. Download the plugin zip. Then go to Plugins, Add New. Click to Upload Plugin. Choose the downloaded zip file, and click to Install. Activate the plugin, and that is all. Now all extra features are activated. Now go to settings, optimization, styles. Okay, we need to enable compute API first. So optimization, styles, and set the critical CSS to viewport based. Clear the cache and go to dashboard. Pre-build is already running. And it just finished. Let's run GT metrics now.
Nice. All scores were improved. Let's check PageSpeed Insights as well. Well done. Now you can see how easy and quick to achieve better results with Swift Performance Lite. Thanks for watching.